our channel. I'm Steph and I am Michelle and today we're going to share with you how to make these faux chocolate napkin rings at home and they will be perfect for your Easter table and if you missed our Easter tablescapes you can click on the link above. To get started you will need a couple of supplies. We found these cute bunny Easter eggs at the dollar store. We also found them on Amazon. We'll have a link below. And for the rings, we are using this plumbing drain pipe. It is one and a half inches in diameter. We were first going to use um, shower curtain rings because that would be easy to use, but they were too big. So we decided to use this plumbing pipe and then um, found out they were the perfect size. And then last, you will just need some glue and spray paint. Since we wanted each ring to be the same thickness, we decided to use our table saw. So we set up the fence for a half inch wide cut and we're able to just slide each piece through nicely to get the same thickness. So be sure to use safety equipment, goggles, a, a pushing piece so you don't cut any fingers off because that's never good. Um, if you don't have access to a table saw, you can also use a miter saw or a hacksaw. And while we didn't try this method, you can probably use a pipe cutter as well. So um, any of those methods should work. Just use whatever you are most comfortable with. Once all of the rings have been cut, take a light piece of sandpaper and give it a little bit of sanding around the edges just to smooth out any rough surfaces on the pipe. Seeing how we were using plumbing pipe, we decided to use plumbing cement to adhere the pipe pieces to the plastic egg. However, that didn't work. The cement stuck to the pipe, but not the egg. So we deferred back to our E6000. We just used a drop and it held beautifully. To prep the eggs for paint, we learned our first go around, you could see the face, which we did not like. So we decided that we needed to give the eggs a quick scuff sanding. Um, the lighter the sandpaper, the better, so you don't actually etch and make grooves in the egg. So we used a 220 grit. You don't need to remove it all, just um, roughen it up a little bit so the paint will adhere and it um, smooths out any of the rough edges of the paint. While you can make these um, bunny napkin rings as is, you can leave them white with that adorable face, but we were going for the faux chocolate, so that's why we had to sand off the little faces. So we also used the Krylon Fusion Spray Paint in matte coffee bean color, which to us was the perfect shade for a faux chocolate bunny napkin ring. So we gave these a coat on the front and the back and allowed them to dry. We found these cute striped chambray cloth napkins on Amazon. So we'll put the link for those down below. We just love the blue and white giving a fresh spring look and it really lets this faux chocolate napkin ring pop off the blue. We love how easy it was to make these adorable napkin rings at home. With just a couple of supplies, we were able to make eight rings for less than $10, including the paint. So super inexpensive, super easy to do, and they look so stinking cute. Thanks so much for watching. We're glad you're here, and we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and leave your comments below. We love hearing from you. And also be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our new videos each week for more home inspiration. And as always here at Sunnyside Design, we hope to bring your home to the sunny side of the street.